Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight's video is a Corel video, but it's really maybe to help you save a little bit of time when you run a job. If I was going to make, okay, I'm, I'm going to make these name tags on a piece of 4 inch by 24 inch. So I put an indexing line where my 4 inch is, but I want to get as many as I can on the sheet. What I normally would do is just grab that, put it over there. Whoop, I didn't make a duplicate. Control D, grab it, put it over here, pretty close. Control D, Control D, till it's all the way across the page. That's what I used to do, so these last two aren't going to fit. But what has happened, I didn't put it exactly where I wanted it. So let's look at this. Let's bring it down an in indexing line. Whoop. Bring down an indexing line. And you can see... Let's set my nudge factor real low. Get this close. Okay. You can see that this name tag is dead on, but when you get down here, this name tag is quite a bit lower. So when you run it, and I run my laser, I do uh, bottom up engraving, and it doesn't really matter what you did, but the laser is going to start running and it's going to go over here and focus on these and it's going to run the tips of these stars and then it's going to catch up and it's going to include all these stars and then it's going to catch up and it's going to run more stars and more stars till it gets where the bottom of the stars are all equal and then when it gets to the top it's going to come over here and run my name and just wasting time going back and forth so what you could do Let's just delete these, get rid of our indexing line. My name tag is one inch tall and 2.5 inch, inches wide. So I'm going to set my nudge factor on 1.2. I'm going to go control D and then I'm going to hit the arrow key down, control D. Now, now my nudge, now my, my name tags are 2.5, so I'm going to go 2.65, or any number, control D, move them over, let's see, put one more, so now what has happened, your laser is going to start running, and it's going to run these all the way across. So there, to me, it's a lot of less dead time. Now, it's not going to be a tremendous amount of, of, of time, but it is going to be a little bit of time because it's it set here and ran these, and then it runs these, and then it runs these three, and then four, and all the way across the page. Now, what's nice about this, then you can, and you're not going to have that many name tags with the same name, but you go up and ungroup them, and then you can go hit Doug Green, go up to Edit Text, and change it to Bob Smith. Hit OK. Now it's changed the name. Now I've got another video how to do this correctly because now the Bob Smith isn't in the middle of the page. So, but there is a video on how to do that and I'm not going to take the time on this video. So you can go through and change these names. But that way all your name tags are exactly equal up and down and sideways and your laser is going to run a little bit faster. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.